Welcome to this video tutorial on how to save your search results in Pedro. When you do a Pedro search, you may like to save the articles you are interested in. This video will demonstrate how to select articles, how to save these articles, and how to import the saved articles into referencing software like EndNote. You can select articles in two places. The first is on the search results page which lists all the articles which fulfill your search criteria. Click the Select hyperlink next to the article or articles you are interested in. The word Selected appears next to the title of the articles which you have selected. Please note that this option is not available if you are using a device with a small screen, like a smartphone, to search Pedro. The second way to select articles is in the Detailed Search Results page. You access the Detailed Search Results page for an article by clicking on the Title hyperlink. To select an article, click on the Select This Record hyperlink at the top of the page. The word Selected now appears in this list of hyperlinks. You can return to the Search Results page, which lists all the articles which fulfil your search criteria using the back button of your browser. The article which we just selected is now tagged as selected on the Search Results page. You can change your search terms, then add more articles to your selected articles list by clicking on the Continue Searching Advanced hyperlink at the top of the Search Results page. We use gerontology in the subdiscipline field to describe the patient, feedback in the title and abstract field to define the intervention, and in content, asterisk, in the title and abstract field to define the outcome. We limited our search results to reports of randomised controlled trials by selecting clinical trial in the method field. All search terms were combined with AND, you can change any of your search terms. In this example, we'll change feedback to biofeedback to define the intervention in the title and abstract field. To continue searching using your revised set of search terms, click the Start Search button. In the Search Results page, any articles which were selected in the previous search are tagged as selected. You can now select any additional articles identified with your new search terms by either clicking on Select in the Search Results page or by clicking on the title hyperlink to access the detailed Search Results page and click on the Select This Record hyperlink. To view the list of selected articles, click on the Display Selected Records hyperlink which is at the top of the Detailed Search Results page and also at the top of the Search Results page. The selected articles are all displayed in this Selected Records page, including the authors, title, source, method, Pedro score and abstract, including possible links to full text. After you have selected the articles you are interested in, the next step is to save the articles. There are three ways to save selected articles. The first is to save the Selected Records page. You can do this using your browser software to save the page. Alternatively, you can print the page to a PDF file. Lastly, you could copy and paste the list of selected articles into text editing or word processing software and then save it. The second way to save selected articles is to email the results to yourself. To do this, click on the email results link at the top of the selected records page. You can then enter your email address and click on the email my results to me now button. The citation and other details for the articles you select will then arrive in your email box. The data for each article in the email message is in Research Information System, or RIS, format. This means that there is a tag before each component of the citation. For example, TI is the tag for title, and AB is the tag for the abstract. This formatting makes it easier to import your selected articles into referencing software like EndNote, which I will demonstrate later in this video.
You can save the articles by cutting and pasting them into software for text editing or word processing. If you plan to import your selected articles into referencing software, save this as a plain text file. If you use an Apple computer, save this plain text file with insert line breaks in the file conversion box. The third way to save selected articles is to use the Save Results link. When you click this link, you will be prompted to save a file onto your computer. This file is in Research Information System format, so it has an RIS extension. Again, this means that there is a tag before each component of the citation. This formatting makes it easier to import your selected articles into referencing software like EndNote. I will save this file now so I can demonstrate how to import the search results into EndNote. After you have selected and saved the articles you are interested in, you may like to import them into referencing software like EndNote. Instructions for importing saved articles into EndNote and RefWorks referencing software are available on the Pedro website, which you can access by clicking these links. In EndNote, you can import your saved articles in Research Information System or RIS format. To do this, create a new library, then in the File menu, select Import and then File. You can then choose the file containing your saved articles. Select Reference Manager RIS as the import option and import your articles. All the selected articles are now in EndNote. You can double click on a reference to view all the details for the article. We have just demonstrated how to save your search results in Pedro. The first step in this process was to select the articles you are interested in. The second step was to save these selected articles. And the third step was to import the saved articles into referencing software. And we used EndNote as an example. We hope that you have found this tutorial on how to save your search results in Pedro useful. You can watch other videos about how to use Pedro using the link on the left. You can subscribe to the Pedro YouTube channel using the link on the right.